Greetings to all my fellow Americans. Hallelujah. Today is January the 15th, uh, 2021. And uh, we've got five days before the inauguration of Joe Biden as president. And we're praying for a miracle, friends. We're holding fast, digging in, in there, you know, and pressing in and believing and trusting God for a miracle for Donald Trump. It's not over till the fat lady sings, and she don't sing until high noon on January 20th. So we're just believing and trusting God for a miracle. That's all I can say. And uh, at the end of this video, this is just a short power prayer. We're going to just have a short power prayer together and a, a short little word. And uh, at the end, be on the lookout for my wonderfully anointed song that God gave me entitled, If God Does a Miracle. I wrote that song um, in the fall of uh, 2007. And when we produced the song on my album, it was one of only two songs on the album of 18 tracks that I tithed and gave to another Christian artist here in South Africa. Um, you know, didn't the Bible say it's more blessed to give than receive? And so I, I thought, you know, this man, he, uh, he helped me do some arranging on the song and I thought, his voice is good. Praise the Lord, I'm gonna give it to him. So you're gonna be hearing Jason Bradley sing my song, If God Does a Miracle, and I hope you enjoy it. I wanna just share a quick word out of Proverbs 28, 12 and 28, 28. It's almost the same verse, very similar, but it's a little different. Proverbs 28, 12 says, when the righteous triumph, there is great elation, but when the wicked rise to power, men go into hiding. Isn't that what's happening right now? Boy, on election night, Donald Trump was ahead. Everything was going great. People like, like you and I that love the Lord and love truth, we were happy. We were elated. And then, old man Satan got his hand in there, you know. And uh, we know the rest of the story, don't we? So now, a lot of us, we're not so much going into hiding as they're putting us into hiding place. <laughs> they're censoring us. And they're, they're kicking us off platforms and whatnot. So we don't even have to go into hiding. They're, they're doing that for us, I think, a, a lot of it. And then Proverbs 28, 28. It's just twisted. Instead of when the righteous triumph, it's when the wicked rise to power. When they triumph, the people go into hiding. But when the wicked perish, the righteous thrive. When the wicked perish, the righteous thrive. I won't even get into that. But I want to tell you, friends, we're in a battle. We're in a war. And even the Bible says it's that way. So let's pray. Let, we're going to do some spiritual warfare now. Amen. Lord God, we just pray right now on this January 15th and whatever date that I'm praying with these people on this video, Lord, and even if this is past the election, I pray that this prayer will go out into eternity to fight the demons of hell against the United States and against, against America. Even if somebody's watching this a hundred years from now, I pray that you will use this prayer to fight the evils of that day. But Lord, right now, we also have the evils of this day. And I plead the blood of Jesus over especially the Supreme Court of the United States. Just grab a hold of the Supreme Court, Lord God. I pray that in this last hour that you will wake them up to the fact that their little party that they have, this nine judges little traditional private little club that they have is going to come crashing down on them if the Democrats have their way they're going to pack the court and all the traditions and everything they have will be null and void and all of our First Amendment, Second Amendment, Third Amendment rights and so on will be quickly dismantled 
So Lord, I pray against all that. I pray against it. I plead the blood of Jesus over it. And I pray, Lord God, you'll wake these judges up. Send them dreams and visions in the night. Whatever you have to do, Lord, send an angel to them, Lord. Speak to them through, through colleagues and friends and family. Whatever you have to do, do it, Lord. And we come against everyone that makes any threats or any innuendos or anything against any of these Supreme Court judges. Lord God, take care of them. Lord God, we pray for your vengeance. Your Bible says, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. And so Lord, this election has been compromised and we ask that you will bring your vengeance upon all of those that have compromised it in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God, we come, come also pray against all wicked powers and spells of, of witches covens and warlocks, all evil powers of satan Satanism and satan satanic uh, influences. We plead the blood of Jesus right now over all of that. And we plead the blood of Jesus over the Capitol, over the Congress and the Senate and the House and the Presidency. Lord God, move in a mighty way. Shake, Lord God. We just pray for our divine shaking. We pray for your divine Holy Spirit to come down and rain down upon Washington, D.C. and the United States. Come down upon us, Lord. Forgive us of our sins. Help us, Lord, to fully repent. Lord God, we're all just people, but help us, Lord, to rise higher in you, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And help us to fast, too, in these last few days of this election. Help us to give up our sweeties, whatever we gotta do. Help us, Lord, to fight for you in this spiritual battle, to fight for America and for the future of the United States and for our children and grandchildren, Lord God. Please, Lord God, don't let the devil steal the United States and steal our Constitution from us, Lord. We pray in your holy name, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I love you guys. I miss the United States. I haven't been there since my daughter got married back in June 2009. So it's coming up on what, 11 years, 12 years? So it's been a while since I've been back and uh, came here originally in 2007 to meet my darling wife. Met her on ChristianCafe.com. Thought I'd put a little plug in there for them. They're a great Christian dating organization that will help you to meet somebody if you need somebody, amen? Okay, well, I love you guys. This is Tommy Sides signing off and Holy kiss to you, and don't forget, you listen to my song now right after this. If God does a miracle, you're going to love it. And pass it on and share it. Let that thing go viral. Like and subscribe to this video, okay? And hit the bell. All right. Holy kiss to you. God bless. There are rain clouds and stormy blasts above my head, the trees. Flashes of pure white as far as I can see. The rain dances all around, it's a wonder I can breathe. The lightning, the thunder, the rumbling. Helps me see that if God does a miracle, it's all that I need. If God does a miracle, it helps me to believe that He would ever be my God throughout the stormy blast. God does a miracle 
I'll be home at last Silence after the storm Sometimes it's hard to take Loneliness surrounds you Like a cold dog, like snake But Jesus isn't like that Till his thunder can be heard Even the storm is over His love will give you word And if God does a miracle It's all that I need If God does a miracle Helps me to Still I heard Fall to the ground I hear the sound of thunder It's all around When will this darkness Cease to be my friend But in God's word I'll hold fast Until the bitter end I'll be home at last